There's a lot of hands raised. I'm afraid I don't have time to go through everybody. So we're going to go alphabetically by heights and make vocal. Go ahead and start us off. Thank you. Um, Candice, other than just the sheer immense talent level in the WNBA, what are the biggest obstacles to trying to repeat? Obviously, something that hasn't been done since you were in high school. Uh, the, the league has just been so tough. What, what do you think are the toughest aspects of trying to do that? Well, I've tried to do it twice and have not succeeded. So hopefully the third time's a charm with this team. I mean, I guess I wasn't a part of it last year. So I guess... Um, I think the biggest thing is, is to treat every season as its own. Um, I think there's a lot of time where you reflect on what worked last year and the way the league works, what worked last year is going to work this year. Uh, we were so close in 2017 um, to repeating and it goes back to taking care of business. We lost both game fours. We won a championship with one and the second one we lost at Minnesota and then again, being up 14 against Connecticut last year at home, blowing a 14 point lead. I think every game matters. And I'll go to the Jay-Z song, treat your first like your last and your last like your first. So you got to do that all year. Thank you. Michael? Twice? Or not? I Go ahead. Hi, Candace. Uh, I'm the only one here who comes from Israel. And, uh, you know, Israel is uh, the only country in the world that uh, Anthony Parker is more famous than Candace Parker. <laughs> so I have uh, two questions, if it's okay. Uh, uh, Many years ago, you say that he was your role model. How much did you influence you? Well, Anthony is my big bro, and he's always been my hero growing up. Um, to watch the way that he became professional, I think that's in 97 when he got drafted. Like, that's what made me start thinking about basketball in, like, a professional way. Um, he stills my hero off the court right now. I mean, what he's doing in basketball, just in terms of being assistant GM in Orlando. And I know that there's bigger things and, you know, he's going to be in the league in the front office position for a long time, but what he did overseas, I mean, that kind of challenged me to be able to go overseas and play and compete for Euro league championships. And he still reminds me that he has more Euro league championships than I do. <laughs> and and the decade, ago, uh, decade ago, you say that, uh, that in 10 years, uh, from now, you will be better than him. So this is true. <laughs> We're a competitive family. So um, I feel like uh, now he tore his Achilles a, a couple months ago. So I feel like for sure I would beat him in a game of one-on-one. So yeah, I'm better. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> no problem. Matthew? Hey, Candice. I wanted to ask you, you've been around this group now three weeks is there anything about this team from a basketball standpoint or anything else that surprised you? I know you play with some of these players before and you said, you know, the reads are similar some having played against them, but just something about this group that surprised you or you weren't expecting. Um, I mean, obviously we're, it's young and very short into the season, but I think just in terms of like the camaraderie and the culture I think is super important um getting to know everybody I mean obviously I know Chelsea extremely well I know Bay uh pretty well um but everybody else is pretty new you know new to me and so I think just understanding the culture and how you know you don't take yourself too seriously like we laugh at things that happen you know in film um you know, we, but we get better and, you know, we try to challenge one another and we hype each other up. And I think that that's um, fun for me to be a part of in my 16th season. John? Hey, Candice, uh, back in 2021, you and Becky were both named to the WNBA 25th anniversary team. Could you have ever imagined two years later that you'd actually be playing for a fellow anniversary team member? Listen, I... I leave everything open. Um, I think it's unbelievable for us to have this full circle moment where I played against Becky, you know, especially my rookie season coming in. I mean, she was that shifty three point shooting guard. 
um, in San Antonio that actually beat us on a last second shot to go to the WNBA finals in 2008. Um, she played with my wife on the Russian national team in 2012. Um, she knows my brother very well because they, you know, kind of were around the same age. And so I think it's just one of those full circle moments where you don't rule anything out and anything's possible. And I'm excited to be sitting here in an Aces jersey. Mr. Duncan. Yes. Hi, Candace. Um, I actually had a pick and roll question from the Liberty game, if that's okay with you. Um, um, early in the third quarter, I think Liberty went with double drag. You had uh, John Quell to start that possession, uh, but as Sabrina came off that screen, you peeled out and took Brianna Stewart, and Asia kind of peeled behind you and took John Quell. What kind of goes into making those kind of live reads? Is that like a game plan thing or something you just saw and maybe just kind of jumped out there? Uh, I think it was like late clock. So um, I think I jumped out just because of the time. But I think it's also offensively, it's finding out like and reading off of everybody else, but also defensively. I think that's a step that Becky has been loud and clear about wanting to take a step forward and not be average in the league defensively. Like we want to be great. And I think a lot of it comes with playing with one another and knowing, you know, when one wants to make plays and communicating. And so I think just me being decisive with what I wanted to do defensively, defensively and everybody else reacting. And as a quick follow up, what has the chemistry building process been like defensively since you've been here? I think it's been good. I mean, you know, like anything, it takes work and takes um, effort. Uh, I think for me, the biggest uh, the biggest thing is offensively and defensively. Like I haven't played basketball in six months, seven months. So I think just coming in with people, some have played overseas, some haven't, you know, some are just like me, uh, but not 37. So I think the biggest thing is, is just like being a little bit, having a little bit of grace, you know, with, you know, being a little bit rusty. And um, I think that comes on the defensive end. Like, I'm going to make plays. I know I am. I know I'm going to make shots. So I think it's just trusting that and, you know, everybody else trusting that too. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We got time for a couple more. Jennifer? Hi, Jennifer Porti from Let's Talk Women in Basketball podcast. You mentioned that you and Becky competed against each other for years. So I wanted to know what's it like having her as your coach and also what do you think you need to improve on in order to excel this season? Well, I think Becky is a player's coach for sure. Um, her being able to um, play in the league for as long as she has been, a you know, being a top 25 player, she understands uh, the grind of being a WNBA player. And so I think she kind of brings that into the team. I mean, she, she's lighthearted, but she's going to coach you hard and she's going to coach you up. Um, I think the biggest thing for us is uh, – defensively, I think rebounding, uh, and then I think offense will take care of itself. All right, I guess time for one more before we go hit the billion dollar video screen behind me and Lindsay. Thanks. Hi, Candace. You know, you've achieved so much in your playing career and even as an analyst, you know, what is your why for this season? Um, I think my why is, uh, I mean, I love the game of basketball. That's always my why. Um, I love playing basketball. And anytime there's a ball bouncing, I'm either playing or I'm watching. I'm a basketball fiend. It's always on in my house. I'm always watching old YouTube clips. My daughter was laughing at me because I was doing cardio in the off season. And I was watching like an old game that I played in last year. She's like, mom, what are you doing? I'm like, well, I'm, I'm running and I need to take my mind off of something. So I just think that my why has always been that I'm a competitor and I just love the game. Thank you. Perfect. Um, thank you, Candace. We will let you go as we switch over to some of the marketing stuff. Thanks everybody for joining us today. We'll see you throughout the remainder of the regular season. Hi, Maria. I miss you. Go Vols. <laughs>